I watched back the footage of my Harry Styles concert um, day. It's really hard to film and talk on a very stressful, eventful day, if you didn't know. So I'm just gonna be a little bit of a talkative guideline to piece together all the clips I took on Harry Day. Start of the day. We woke up at 4.30 and we jumped in the car to go wait in line for these wristbands. Happy Harry Day. That's pretty cool. On Monday, I made 200. These wristbands decide what number you get to go in the pit at. So the earlier you're in line, the least amount of number you get and the faster and earlier you get to go into the pit. So we went and waited in line and that's what we're doing in all these pictures. We're waiting in line. We're sleeping and napping and um, just having a grand old time on the sidewalk of Austin. The line was crazy. We got in line at 535 and it was already about 500 people long. So we kept waiting in line and then nine o'clock hit and we got our wristbands. We got him! <laughs> I got 535 and my little sister got 536. So that is the number that we got to enter the pit at. After waiting in line, we were starving. So we went and got food. I got this bagel, she got pancakes. It was great. We got him. That was really stressful. I had a great time, but that was really stressful. My stomach was in my butt. And I slept on the ground. We both slept on the ground. If y'all ever go to a Harry Styles concert and um, plan on waiting in a line, bring a blanket or a pillow. Some snacks. Some probably. snacks. Be careful on the water though, because there was porta potties, and we don't want to. You don't want to. No, don't, don't, don't do that. But don't be dehydrated either, because that's not good either. Now we're going to get food because we're starving and caffeine because I need it. You need and then we went home and got ready. In these next few clips, it's me getting ready for the Harry concert. Um, it's not very thorough, but you know, I tried my best. I'm really upset by this camera angle. This is my, this is the bathroom we're getting ready in. What is this? I decided that I'm gonna start with my hair because I'm gonna start my, I'm going for a wet, like slicked back kind of look i'm gonna pin this part in just so it stays there we gotta start with water first don't really want my hair to stain my shirt so we're not gonna do that now we just start shoveling product on until it gets to a a look i guess i'm starting with eco gel it doesn't really hold much but i think it'll keep the dampness it also has shimmer in it, so that's fun. I think I've achieved my desired hairstyle. I gotta do makeup. Makeup is done. It makes me... It makes me feel like a mermaid. The wet hair and this cool colored makeup, purple, blue, green makeup makes me feel like a mermaid. And I'm kind of here for it. It's outfit time. This is my makeup, a better picture, and this is the outfit that I wore. I really like it a lot. These pictures turned out really cute, and I just feel, I felt really good. These are the lines that we stood in to go into the pit. They were numbered by hundreds, and so you just got an order by your wristband. <laughs> then, it was time. We entered the pit. It was very stressful, but we did get good spots. 
by the time the concert ended, I was about two people away from the barrier. I could reach out and like, if I just like did like this, I could touch the barrier. So I'd say it was a success. <laughs> Now these next few clips are me after the concert in the car um, and I have a weird demeanor. I... Second Harry Styles concert. I'm not, I'm not crying. That's, that's a plus. I think the only reason I feel okay is because I know I'm seeing him Monday. I'm just glad to be out of the pit. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed it. Or I didn't really enjoy it. Yes. But if if you're someone at a if you're actually at the barricades, I can see how it can be actually really nice. But I just don't know. I don't know how how people how I don't know how Harry looked at people. Like that's I didn't realize how difficult it actually was for him to ever glance in your direction. How rare it was. I I can see how Pitt I don't really know. Pit is a hit or miss, to be honest, because it depends on who is in front of you and if the girl in front of you has- Is wearing a fucking cowboy hat the entire time. It's gonna be really obnoxious. I'm just gonna lie. My advice is don't wear hats in the pit. Uh, wear tall shoes if you're short. Even if you wear something that makes you 5'4", you're still considered short in that pit. Harry rarely ever glances in your direction, if you were wondering, and you probably won't make eye contact with him, even though you made a sign to make eye contact with him. I think something that's helping me not being so emotional this time is knowing that he's in Austin and we're in Austin right now. Like he's staying here like a normal person, just like we're staying in Austin like normal people. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm gonna cry. And then we drove home and we went to bed. And I did not sleep. I slept great, but going to bed was really emotional because I didn't want the night in the day to end. Because I, as I said before, I suck at endings. My ears are ringing. I don't want to take off my outfit. Because it'll probably be the last time I ever wear it. I hate endings. I'm not good with endings. And then we woke up and packed the car the next morning at about one. And we went to eat. We're just gonna run in from here really quick. And then we drove home. When we drove home, I wasn't that sad because I knew that we were going back in a few days to see him in concert again. So I had that to look forward to. I sadly did not film the day of the second concert because I had already filmed this one and I was just a little bit, I really just wanted to not worry about trying to film a YouTube video on this concert day. But all you need to know is this is my outfit. I loved it. Um, I felt cool in like black and red and white, like what cool colors. I brought a sign that said hi. It was neon pink with black letters and it said hi. We were in section 113 for the second concert and we were road J. So honestly, here's a picture. We weren't far. We really weren't far at all. These were probably the closest seats I've ever had in my life. And Mr. Harry Styles saw my poster, gave me a thumbs up, and waved with his little twinkle fingers. And that's all I've ever wanted out of a concert, 
of his. I got eye contact, I got a thumbs up, and I got twinkle fingers. And I can I can tell you that after that experience, um, the seats were better than the pit. The second concert this week was better than the first concert this week. And now I'm battling post-concert depression and separation anxiety and grief from not being in the presence of my favorite person and idol anymore. <laughs> it actually sucks. I don't know what to do with myself. And this was my second and third Harry Styles concert experience. If you want to watch my first Harry Styles concert experience, that is about a year earlier on my YouTube channel. If you just scroll down just a little bit, um, it'll be there. I don't know how to end this video without crying, to be honest. Thank you for watching. I love you. And treat people with kindness.